Hello everyone, Cliff here back in the shed. I'm back from my son's, done his bathroom, went pretty much without issue. Had one minor issue, won't go into that. But now he's got his bathroom converted with a shower instead of a bath. He's got his washing machine in his bathroom and a dishwasher in his kitchen, which is what he wanted. So all that's gone rather well. Anyway, back to the shed. I've decided on this cold and rainy day in the in Orpington, that I'm going to get on with trying to sort the lights out that like I mentioned the other week. So, I was going to drill a hole up here and take a feed from the lighting circuit in the other half of the shed, but there's a couple of the old burglar alarm cables that go through there because I changed the burglar alarm for a wireless one. So, I'm going to see if I can pull a cable, it's only a little one mil twin and earth, through them holes and take it to a separate fuse off the fuse box which is in the bog here. Right, I'm going to get on with that then. So, a couple of hours on, I've managed to get the cables in for the light switch. Don't know if you can see them up there. Yeah, you can see them. So I've got a couple of junction boxes up here, one's wired into the light switch. This is the cable that's going to come over to this junction box to light the lights up that are here at the moment. The other junction box is there. I ain't put the cover on it yet because I've lost it. Which is going to do the other lights when I eventually get the uh, ceiling sorted out. And I'll run another junction box to another light by that door. Just a single light somewhere so I can turn the light on when I come in. Um, I managed to get the cable through over in this corner. Not without issue. I pulled the cables through, the burglar alarm cables, and I hadn't had that on there tight enough and it came off. So I ended up having to make a rod to get through there, but I got it through there. I haven't connected it up in the um, fuse box yet. I'm going to connect the lights up first. Then I'll connect it up in the fuse box. Switch it on and see if it goes bang. Right, I've connected it up with the fuse box, see if it works. Yay! Working. That is going to be such a joy to be able to switch a light on up on the wall here. Yeah? I've got to screw the cover on there. Instead of having to squabble about around the back of the lathe. So, I've got the other one, I still haven't found the cover for it, I don't know where, don't know where I've put that. But, I've got my emergency light that I had up here. Now it's a bit warped and twisted, but I know it was working because when the fire brigade came in here, they had a moan at me and said, oh, you ain't turned all the electric off. I said, I have. I ran back down the, the bottom of the shed, made sure it was all off, come back and then, of course, it was the emergency light that was on. So I think what I'll do is give this a clean up and I might just wire this up to the um, the spare junction box I've got up there and just see if it does charge up and see if it works so I think I'll do that go and clean this up in the sink before my wife comes home My wife's aversion to me doing any shed related stuff indoors is not unjustified. This is the uh, dishcloth I used to clean the emergency light. I had to bring it up here. It's now a shed cloth. So I cleaned it up. The diffuser hasn't cleaned up particularly well. It's, I don't know if it was this smoky colour before or not, but um, I ain't going to put that on yet anyway. I've wired it up and the little green light, I think you'll be able to see that on the camera, that's, that's come on, that's the charging light. Now whether it's actually charging or not, I don't know. But I'll leave that for tonight and see if it works tomorrow. So I didn't manage to get up here yesterday. It's certainly a joy walking through that door and having a light switch to turn the light on. 
Anyway, there's the emergency light. So it's had plenty of time to charge up now. So I'll go and trip the fuse in the uh, fuse box and see if it comes on. See if it's still working. There you have it, the emergency light is on. And the emergency light is off. Good, I'm glad that's working. I'll stick the diffuser back on it and see how it do not chuck out an awful lot of light anyway. It's just so you can find your way to the door if the uh, lights do go out. Otherwise it is pitch black in here. Well, that's another little bit done, albeit a very little bit, but it is um, really nice to be able to just walk in here and switch a light on by a light switch for a change, rather than having to duck down behind the lathe and switch the plug on. Um, and it does now mean that I can move the end code back against the wall, it's only about a foot or so, but it will give me a bit more room to mooch about in here. So, the next thing I'm going to do Is sort this lot out here yeah so the next thing I'm going to do is sort this rack of it's got a metal bit bar and bits of metal on it and these shelves up here and down there and this crap just here some of that was over there but um, so I'm going to clear that out clean this metal up chuck away what needs chucking away but I'm going to make another little a little rack over next to that rack that I built over there with just some like uh, how can I explain it four inch square boxes with no lids on them to slide the metal bit and long thin stuff into and even short thin stuff but thin stuff and that's going to go over there that's what I'm going to do next and I've made a decision about over here and I'm going to uh, move this bench, just shove it, pull it over into here somewhere, get started on that and put that cupboard in. That's going to be one of my next things. So I'll be cleaning up my woodwork lathe, that wall, that lot, and building the cupboard in over there. So that about wraps it up for this Wednesday waffle. What doing this, uh, trying to do this weekly Wednesday waffle thing has made me realise is how little I actually get done up here. I mean this, this lighting looks like it should have took about 10 minutes. I mean it's probably only took 4 or 5 hours but um, I don't get up here near as much as I think I do. There's, you know, other things going on. But when I look back at the uh, video of when this all first happened, it's... Um, it has come on quite a bit, long way to go, but well, probably two thirds of the way there now. Anyway, it's coming on. I appreciate everyone still watching the channel. At some point in the future, I'll get back to doing something that's um, fun. Right, and until next time, it's good bright for me, and it's good bright for me down there. He's He's still always at my ankles. They tell her. He's a good boy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.